sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed My chains are gone, I've been set free My God, my Savior, has ransomed me tonight is taken from St. John's Gospel. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. 
But as I have told you, you can see me and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I shall not turn him away. Because I have come from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who has sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose not, nothing of all that he, he, he has given me and that I shall raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life and that I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, the richness of this gospel echoes from age to age, down through the years to the present day. For we hear you speak to us, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. This says it all, Jesus. When we have you, we have everything. And not one single person, Jesus, will you turn away. Whoever needs your help, we just simply have to ask and you, Jesus, will hear our prayer. So we ask you tonight, to hear the prayers of the people in India and hear all the prayers of all of us gathered up this week, especially for to help those who are sick and suffering and in pain. And we remember, Jesus, that you truly are the bread of life. The bread of life who is our everything. And we ask you to help us to remember that each day.
And so in this wonderful month of May, Jesus, we turn our attention to our Mother Mary. And we ask her again this night to give you our prayers. To give you our prayers in faith and in love. And we pray a decade of the rosary tonight. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. The Holy Eucharist is the continuation of Christ's incarnation on earth. The mystery of the Eucharist gives us the joy of having Christmas every day. When we come to the Blessed Sacrament, we come to Bethlehem, a name which means House of Bread. Jesus chose to be born in Bethlehem because he would dwell with us forever as the living bread come down from heaven. When the shepherds and magi came to a they brought him so much joy with their humble visit to Bethlehem that their visit has been praised and retold down through the centuries. God has never stopped honouring them for honouring his son in Bethlehem. So too, your humble visit today to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament be, brings him so much joy that it will be retold for all eternity and bring the world closer to his promise of peace on earth. The Eucharist is divine love made visible in the sacred host. This is why the angels continue to sing to him here as they did in Bethlehem. Glory to God in the highest and peace to, to men of goodwill. Come, let us adore him. For here Jesus continues to come to us, filled with endearing love, as the word becomes flesh in the Holy Eucharist and makes his dwelling among us. Jesus, with each Hail Mary we pray, we unite ourselves to the perfect adoration of Mary and offer you all the adoration she gave to you in Bethlehem that we may bring to you now all the joy and warmth that her adoration brought to you on that first Christmas night when she held you in her arms and brought you close to her heart. To your heart tonight, Jesus, we bring all the people of India as we offer this decade. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. In your body, Lord, we in a time when the light is not found. Read Shalom Tidings, a gift of hope, a breath of fresh air in this time of despair. Articles that fill you with hope and encouragement in these dark times. This free magazine is available online. Visit shalomtidings.org or download the app on your iOS and Android devices. Available also on Amazon Kindle. Shalom Tidings, a gift of hope.